Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see about rounding numbers. This is one of the learning outcome in class 4 under the number concepts. Let us go into the details of the video. Before knowing what is to round off numbers, let us see this statement. 2000 people were there in the beach on Sunday evening. Do you think there were exactly 2000 people in the beach? That could have been 1843 or 2180 people or it could have been any number which is closer to 2000. So what did we do here? The actual number has been rounded off. So what does rounding means? Making a number simpler but keeping its value close to what it was. And why do we do that? It is to make calculations easier though the result is a little less accurate. So in this case what have we done? The actual number has been rounded off to 2000. Rounding off can be done in the following ways. Rounding to the nearest 10, rounding to the nearest 100 and rounding to the nearest 1000. First let us see rounding to the nearest 10. To do that, find the tens between which the number lies. For example, you take the number 36. It lies between the tens, 30 and 40. Now, to round off, you should find out which 10 the number 36 is closer to. How do you do that? Number line is an easy method by which you can find out which number the given number is closer to. Here, we have a number line with numbers from 30 to 40. Where is 36 over here? 36 lies closer to 40. So, it is rounded up to 40. So, rounding the number 36 to the nearest 10 will be 40. Let us do another example to understand this better. The first step is find the tens between which the number lies. Here I have taken the number 75. 75 lies between the tens 70 and 80. To round off to the nearest 10, you should find out which 10 the number 75 is closer to. Let us use a number line having number 70 to 80. Where is number 75? 75 is midway between the 2, 10, 70 and 80. So you should round it up to 80. The rule is whenever the number lies in the midway or above the midway that is when the number is ending with 5 and above 5 it means that it is closer to the upper limit. So you will round it up to the upper limit. So in this case Rounding the number 75 to the nearest 10, the answer will be 80. Let us take another example. We have a 4 digit number 3783. So we will have to round it to the nearest 10. To get the 10's place, we have 8. So 83 is the number which we are having and it lies between the 10's 80 and 90. So here 3783 lies between 3780 and 3790. So next, find out which 10 the number 3783 is closer to. Let us use a number line having numbers 3780 to 3790. In this, 3783 lies closer to 3780 when compared to 3790. So it is rounded down to 3780. 
There is another method by which you can do the rounding. We might not be able to use number lines for bigger numbers. So, to understand how the rounding off is done, take the number 3783. We need to round it off to the nearest 10. So, look at the tens place where you have the digit 8. The next step is to look at the number which is lying after the digit. If it is 5 and above 5, it means it is midway or above the midway. In such cases, you will round it off to the upper limit. Since in this case it is 3, we will have to round it down to the lower limit which is 3780. Hope you have understood how to do rounding to the nearest 10. Next let us move on to rounding to the nearest 100. The rule is find the hundreds between which the number lies. Here we have example 846 which lies between the hundreds 800 and 900. Now you will have to find out which hundred the number 846 is closer to. Let us use the number line method where you have a number line with numbers 800 to 900. In this 846 lies here which is lesser than the midway which is 850 which means it is closer to the lower limit. So 846 is closer to 800 when compared to 900. So it is rounded down to 800. Let us take another example to understand this better. Find the hundreds between which the number lies. So I have taken the example of 350. 350 lies between the hundreds 300 and 400. Next you will have to find out which hundred the number 350 is closer to. By using a number line we can visibly see that 350 is in the midway between the 200s, 300 and 400. So as per the rule when a number is on the midway or above the midway you will round it up to the higher limit. So in this case you will round it up to 400. So 350 rounded up to the nearest 100 is 400. Let us see another example. Here we have a 4 digit number 6670. So we will have to round it up to the nearest 100. So look at the 100's place where you have 6. So and the number 670 lies between the 100's 600 and 700. So the number 6670 lies between the numbers 6600 and 6700. Next you will have to find out which 100 the number 6670 is closer to. Using the number line, we can see that 6670 is closer to the upper limit 6700. So, it is rounded up to 6700. This is the number line method. There is another method which I taught you while rounding up to 10. Same way, consider the number 6670. We need to round it up to the nearest 100. So look at the 100's place where you have the digit 6. The next step is to look at the number which lies immediately after the chosen digit. We have 7 which means which is bigger than 5. So when the number is bigger than 5 which means that it is on the way closer to the upper limit. So in this case 6670 when you round it to the nearest 100, it will be 6700. Dear viewers, hope you have clearly understood rounding to the nearest 100. Next we are going to see rounding to nearest 1000. Before that, I am glad you are watching my video. If you like the content of my video, please do click the subscribe button as it definitely adds value to my channel. Do not forget to tap the bell button and choose the all option to receive regular notifications of all updates that I make in my channel. Next let us see rounding to the nearest thousand. Find the thousands between which the number lies. For example, consider the number 5350 which lies between the thousands 
5000 and 6000. The next step is to find out which thousand the number 5350 is closer to. Let us use the number line method with numbers 5000 to 6000 in which 5350 lies closer to 5000. So you round it down to 5000. So 5350 rounding off to the nearest thousand is 5000. Let us do another example to understand this better. Consider the number 4500. You will have to find the thousands between which this number lies. 4500 lies between the thousands 4000 and 5000. Now we will have to find out which is the thousand to which the number 4500 is closer to. Let us see this with a number line where you can see that 4500 is in the midway between 4000 and 5000. So as per the rule, we will have to round it up to the higher limit which is 5000 in this case. So 4500 rounded off to the nearest thousand is 5000. Let us take another example of a 5 digit number 23760. We need to round it off to the nearest thousand. So look at the thousands place where you have 3000. So and this 3716 lies between 3000 and 4000. So 23716 lies between 23000 and 24000. We will have to find out which thousand the number 23,716 is closer to. By using a number line, we can see that 23,716 is above the midway and it is closer to the upper limit. So 23,716 is closer to 24,000 than 23,000. So it is rounded up to 24,000. This is the number line method. Let us do the rounding off by the other method. 23,716 in which you'll have to round off to the nearest thousand. So look at the thousands place where you have three and immediately you'll have to look at the digit which is after the chosen digit where you have seven which means which is bigger than five. So it is moving towards the upper limit. So rounding 23,716 to the nearest thousand will be 24,000. Next, we are going to do an interesting activity by taking a 4 digit number and rounding it off to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000 using the number line method. Rounding off to the nearest 10. 9563 lies between the 10s, 9560 and 9570. As per the number line method, you can see that 9563 is closer to the lower limit. So the answer is 9560. Next, let us do rounding off to the nearest 100. We know that 9,563 lies between the hundreds, 9,500 and 9,600. In this, 9,563 lies closer to the upper limit, 9,600. So, the answer is 9,600. Next, let us do rounding off to the nearest thousand. 9,563 lies between the thousands, 9,000 and 10,000. And from the number line, we can visibly see that it is above the midway. So, 9,563 rounded off to the nearest thousand is 10,000. For larger numbers like this, we might not be able to use number line. So, let us use the other method to do the rounding off. To round off to the nearest 10, we will have to look at the tens place where you have 4. And the digit after which is 8, which is bigger than 5. So, you will round it off to the upper limit. So, it will be 2,80,150. Next, let us do rounding off to the nearest 100. So, look at the hundreds place where you have 1 and the digit after it is 4 which is lesser than 5. So, round it off to the lower limit and you will get the answer 2,87,100. Next, let us do rounding off to the nearest 1000. So, look at the thousands place you have the digit 7 and the digit after 7 is 1 which is lesser than 5. So, rounding off to the nearest thousand, which is the lower limit, you will get 2,87,000. With that, we complete the topic rounding numbers. These are all the other learning outcome in class 4 under the number concepts. The link to class 4 learning outcome video in which I have explained about all these are given below in the description box. I have handled each of these learning outcome in separate videos. Link to related videos are given below in the description box. If you like my video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And please do provide your valuable comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again.